Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the control circuit for the soldering station. It is built around the Atmega 3 to 8 microcontroller and integrates several useful features. All operating parameters are displayed on the LCD. Adjustments are made through a rotary encoder. When connect to the power, we pressing and holding the rotary encoder for 2 seconds allows access to the configuration menu of the soldering station. The temperature display can be configured in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. The device's buzzer function can be configured to on or off. The switch configuration supports both tilt and read types. Ambient temperature is utilized for thermal compensation of the device. The standby temperature parameter allows configuring the tip's temperature during idle mode. This feature helps protect the soldering tip, minimize wear, and improve energy efficiency. The standby time parameter defines the period of inactivity after which the soldering tip automatically switches to standby mode. The auto-off function allows configuring the duration of inactivity after which the soldering station automatically disables heating. When the soldering tip is inserted, the circuit transitions into heating standby mode, ready for operation. The upper display shows the set temperature, which is stored in memory for the next power cycle. The lower display indicates the real-time temperature of the soldering tip. Pressing the rotary encoder activates heating of the soldering tip. Pressing it again disables heating. I'll explain the working principle and how to build it right after the introduction of my partner and sponsor, JLCPCB. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting-edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high-precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLC PCB 6 layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6-layer PCBS for just $5. Plus, to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is a T12 soldering tip. Basically, the thermocouple sensor is connected in series with the heating element. When the soldering tip heats up, it generates a voltage. I'm using a multimeter here, so you can see it clearly. The basic control principle is that we heat up the soldering tip, then stop heating for a moment to measure the feedback voltage from the thermocouple. To do that, we use an Atmega 3 to 8 chip with the connection diagram shown here. This part steps down the voltage to 5 volts to power the Atmega chip and also controls the heater. Down here is the amplifier circuit, which reads the feedback from the thermocouple and also detects whether the soldering iron is in use. In addition, there are the connections for the buzzer, LCD, rotary encoder, and the temperature sensor. And here it is, the finished board and enclosure, 
just one week after I uploaded the Gerber files to the JLCPCB website. I've shared all the files, including the Gerber file, in the description of this video, so you can make the same PCB as mine. Everything is completely free for you. The build quality is excellent, the silk screen is sharp, the solder mask is clean, and all the drill holes are perfectly aligned. I'm really happy with the result. This is the circuit after I've soldered some of the components. We'll still need a few transistors, as well as the LM7812 and LM7805 regulators to step down the voltage and supply power to the circuit. The LCD I'm using is the 1206 type, with the pins connected as shown. All the connections are made using small wires to the main board. This makes it easier for us to place the circuit inside enclosures. When everything is ready, we'll power up the circuit. If it's working properly, the test points will show the values on the multimeter as displayed. Next, we'll upload the code to the Atmega 328. I'm using a US BAS programmer to upload the code to the Atmega 328. This is the Arduino IDE, and I've shared all the code in the attached file. The first step is to choose the board. Here, we'll select Arduino Pro Mini. Next, just do the same steps as I'm showing here in the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more electronics projects. See you in the next video.